Now, the well-architected framework is really a design framework so that you can actually improve the quality of your workloads running in Azure or in this case on Azure Local, right? And it has uh, five key pillars. It's about reliability, uh, security, cost optimization, operational excellence, and performance efficiency. Those are the pillars, basically the whole guidance is designed around. And depending on what you need, you can have a look at these different things. Now, the web architected framework is really something uh, we share and I always highly recommend if you're architecting solutions uh, on Azure. Uh, so you can see here, if you go for this guidance, there's a the guidance for the different pillars here, as I just mentioned. So you can dive into these and it will have some explanations what, what those pillars are about. And then we also have guidance obviously for different workloads. So in this case, let's say we have obviously AI workloads. We have, for example, Azure Virtual Desktop with specific uh, guidance here as well, but then also third party workloads on Azure, for example, like if you look at Oracle or SAP, for example, there's different guidance there uh, as well. And then if we look at the service guidance and that is also where we have all these different Azure services. We also have one for Azure Local. So you can see here the Azure Local uh, guides in the well-architected uh, framework.